you go through some of these terms before you take your foundations exam. So this is the ITIL version 3 glossary, about 57 pages in a PDF file. Now we'll talk more about those five publications here in a moment, but realize just like ITIL version 2, ITIL version 3 has some complementary and web-based materials, and the best way to stay on top of that, any new white papers or new web-based publications, is to go to the Best Management Practice website. And this is uh, best-management-practice.com. This is the official umbrella website that's going to give you information on the Office of Government Commerce OGC compliance standards. Not just ITIL, but as you can see also PRINCE2 for project management, MSP, and MOR for risk management. You should also be able to find a free PDF version of that ITIL version 3 glossary that I just showed you here. This is one of those things you want to add to your favorites to keep up with supplementary materials. Next, I want to do a brief overview, kind of a fundamental view from 2,000 feet of each of these five publications. Now, realize that this foundation CBT nugget is not laid out on a book-by-book -book basis. That's not really how the foundation exam is going to test you. I'm going to go through here and give you the key points that are basically extracted from these five publications, but you should know, and as I mentioned already, you don't have to go out and purchase these for the foundation's exam. If you do purchase these, then of course you'll be able to look at them and know this information. Otherwise, here are the five publications starting with the ITIL version 3 service strategy book. The service strategy book is going to evaluate the alignment of business and IT strategy. This is really one of the main key focuses of change in ITIL version 3 over version 2 is this focus on the alignment of IT and the overall business. The management of IT throughout the business complete life cycle and the importance of creating business value through information technology going beyond just the processes and the execution of processes. So service strategy looks at alignment of IT and business. You want to make sure that your service life cycle focuses on customer-centric results. That's what we focus on in service strategy. The strategy to associate the different process elements to IT and to put into place solid business goals, requirements, and service management principles. These are the four key areas that are looked at in the service strategy book. Next is the service design publication. And by the way, this is the actual book right up here that we're looking at in the upper left-hand corner. The ITIL service design publication is going to give guidance on production as it relates to IT and the maintenance of IT policies. It looks at the design to meet the current and future business needs. Obviously, this is a design aspect. It also addresses architectures as well as proper documentation for the design of targeted, innovative IT solutions, processes, and techniques. In this publication, you're going to find well-established, well-documented theories of IT service design. The third book in the series is Service Transition, and it relates to simply that, the transition of IT service state, providing guidance and activity assessment for the transition of services in operational business environments. It's going to cover the broad role of change management, release management, and deployment administration. Service Transition is going to consider things like risk benefits, the delivery mechanisms and changes to those mechanisms, as well as support of the ongoing operational services. Remember, for many organizations, transitioning to an ITIL solution is going to involve a lot of complex changes and complex processes, some of which will affect the very core of the business. Here's the ITIL service operation book. This is going to include operational aspects of information technology service management lifecycle. Remember, this life cycle is a key aspect of the ITIL. It's also going to have service support information and ICT infrastructure management from the ITIL version 2 library. 
You know, I don't want to blow by this phrase right here, ICT infrastructure. You might want to write this down. ICT stands for Information Communication Technology. This is defined by the ITAA as the study, design, development, implementation, support, or management of computer-based information systems, particularly software applications and computer hardware. In a nutshell, it deals with the electronic computers, computer software, the process that converts, stores, protects, processes, transmits, and retrieves information in a secure fashion. That's what ICT is. So the service operation is going to relate to this very key ICT infrastructure. It's also going to cover incident management and handling, event management, request management, problem, and identity management. The service operation publication also addresses team and function aspects of service management. And finally, our fifth book with the starfish here on the cover is the ITIL Continual Service Improvement. This is going to deal with how to deliver consistent, repeatable process activities for IT service management. It's going to put focus on the importance of continual improvements. Remember I mentioned this earlier when we looked at some of the famous axioms of W. Edwards Deming. One of those things was consistent and continual improvement. This book also focuses on the process elements of identifying and introducing service management improvements, as well as dealing with service retirement issues or putting processes out to pasture. Well, those are the five books of ITIL version 3. Here's a nice diagram that shows the ITIL publications, the five publications of version 3, is kind of at the heart or the core of this entire infrastructure. Now, spawning from these publications, you have organizations. Organizations like the ITSMF, which is the IT Service Management Forum, an independent, internationally recognized forum for IT service management professionals across the globe. It's a nonprofit organization and it's the prominent player in the ongoing development and promotion of the IT service management best practice standards and qualifications going all the way back over 15 years. And of course, there's the UK's OGC which offers a range of products and services covering the best practice methodologies on a wide variety of topics, which are industry standards in both the public and private sectors. Then, of course, you have training organizations that train on ITL service management and individual consultants, those who have obtained the foundation certification, the practitioner and management certification, and go out there on their own and consult for organizations and businesses. And then the different arms of qualification. We talked about these in the first nugget, the ISEB and the EXIN, the ones that deliver the testing services to qualify individuals to get those certifications. Then, of course, various third-party vendors create different software solutions for implementation, design, management, and delivery of IT service management solutions. Finally, I want to lay out some of the benefits as well as disadvantages of basing your IT service management structure on the IT information library. Kind of some pros and cons. First of all, what are the pros? What are the benefits? Well, our service level agreements become more customer focused. We're able to better manage quality, availability, reliability, and cost. We improve the communication with our IT organization. We develop a more efficient, lucid structure, a more focused approach. We get better control of our IT infrastructure and services. It provides a standard framework for IT outsourcing, which is such a popular solution nowadays. ITIL changes the culture towards service and quality management, away from just simply a results-oriented approach. And it gives us a frame of reference for standardization as we interoperate with other companies, other vendors, other solutions across the globe. Of course, not everything is peaches and cream. Okay, there's some pitfalls and disadvantages to using ITIL. Potentially, this could involve a drastic change in your organization's business culture. It could take a long ramp up for your company to fully deploy IT service management. 
The older and more vertical your company is, the longer the ramp up process. There's also a risk with ITIL, this is very common, of kind of over engineering by getting so militant and religious almost about ITIL that you end up over engineering it and actually creating a bureaucracy based on ITIL. And the resulting bureaucratic overhead is actually counterproductive. Also, if your company doesn't have baseline data and a baseline analysis, you're going to have a tough time evaluating the results of an ITIL strategy. It's critical to have a baseline in place to analyze improvement. Also, for this to work properly, you have to have commitment from all levels of business, from the stakeholders to the board of directors to upper management to middle management, all the way down to the worker. Also, ITAL cannot be implemented in just a single department or a single business unit. You can't isolate the tasks of IT service management to just a single team of people or a steering committee or a department. It needs to be a global comprehensive solution. In addition, the investment outlay and physical, personnel, and financial resources have to be available to put ITIL into place. And remember, the costs can inflate quickly. And then finally, you must understand ITIL as a framework of best practices, okay? It's not a religious document. It's not like the Magna Carta or the US Constitution. It's a framework of guidelines. And if you keep that in perspective, it will help you to have the right approach to implementing and deploying ITIL service management. Well, that being said, we're going to move beyond some of these introductory topics here as we start getting into the meat of the ITIL and all the different various topics that will be tested on the Foundations exam. In this second movie of the ITIL Foundations CBT Nuggets series, we looked at the actual library, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library. We looked at four key points. Background of the ITIL, little overview, ITIL version 3, the five books of version 3, the benefits and pitfalls of ITIL.